and welcome to Reactive Terrain. Yes, this is very posh, isn't it? I mean, look at us. We're sat down at a table. We were sat down. Now, that's unusual. Uh, yeah, it's clean. Yeah. It's tidy. I mean, D-Dog's not. I'm not. No, but, no. Uh, you know, um, but that's because, if you've seen on the channel, we may have received a uh, little package. Or um, two. Or two. Or maybe four. four. <laughs> Me and D-Dog have been super excited about this yes. uh, kit that come out from FMS. And uh, I don't know why. I think maybe because the... Uh, the iconic Land Rover Camel Truck. I think, I think that's what it is. It's yeah. my kind of era. We grew up, you grew up with it, I grew up with it. Um, you grew up towards the end of the tail of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and it's it's at, such a British icon, thing. Yeah, it's yeah, British. Yeah, I mean, it's, we are British. This is reactive to Yeah, Britain, so, so. Uh, we couldn't just order the one because well, we'd fight we over it. We couldn't order two because, well, we'd fight over that. So we just decided we'd order all four, four. of them. Uh, purely because they were doing such a great deal, it made sense to get it out of the way. And we're going to do some comparisons. As you can see, we've got loads of different sizes out from the Smashers to Little RC All Wheel Drives, WL, WL Toy, you know, SCX 24s, and, of course, and a couple of customs. So we're going to delve right in this, get unboxing and unboxing and see what it's like. Like, we, they are here. We I mean, have, look, they turned up I, a couple I, of days ago. I don't even know how Adam's controlled himself <laughs> not to open these. Yeah. I would have been like Christmas. Yeah, you know? not, not, not even a sneak peek. They haven't even been cut he's, and then resellotaped. He's not done anything. This is absolutely fresh out the box. Let's yeah. get into it. Okay, so each one uh, has obviously what's in the box, so we do know what's in it. This one is the Range Rover First Gen. Oh, so first generation, which maybe that means that they might be doing a second one later on in the future. Um, it actually has the weights on them as well. And the one thing I did notice when they were in my uh, in my room is that the weights all vary. So this is 983 grams. That must that's including the box, obviously. That's everything. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think we'll uh, let's get this one open. Weigh them as well and uh, see. Well, I just want to see what they look like. So this is the uh, Range Rover. Um, is that the one you ordered? It is. Oh, oh it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> Adam comes first. Now, this is quite exciting because, as I say, we've been waiting for these for some time to come out, and they, they actually look awesome. Oh, wow. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Is it going to slide out the box? Slowly. And oh, and it's all down. down. And it's down. So there we go. This is... The Land Rover Camel Trophy Edition, and yeah, this one is the Range Rover. Um, so this well, it says Land Rover, but it's actually the Range Rover. Well, yeah, it's it's the it's the Range. Right, yeah, let's. Uh, it says ready to run. Uh, box has got quite a nice lot of. Uh, it's got a nice big spec sheet on the side, although it just shows the D90 and the D10. But I like the way that they showed. On the other side, all the trucks. Yeah. Just because... It has got the Discovery and the Range Rover on here. So it does give you the dimensions, the wheelbase. So the wheelbase of the Range Rover is 227. So that's uh, wheel nut to wheel nut. Uh, sorry, wheel nut. No, that's overall length. Overall that's length. Overall length. Oh, wheel okay. nut to wheel nut is actually 134 millimetres. Oh, I don't have a tape measure. Uh, they're all... They're all 134 millimeter wheel nut to wheel nut, bar the D90. Yes, because that comes should be in the longer one. 111. Okay, because that should be this. That should be coming on for this sort of song. Yeah, right. I'll let you do the unboxing. Okay. Sir. Thank you. I'm. Yeah. You know what I'm like unboxing stuff. Oh, oh, here we go. And there's all the uh, the blur. All, all the stickers. Yep, so... Big old, big old manual. That's quite chunky. Oh, it's Ooh, got lots that, of uh, images. Ev part codes, part numbers. There's lots of stuff in there. Yeah, exploded drawings. So if you do take it apart, you can put it back together again. Yeah, you might need them. I might need that. And then there that is, is cool. a sticker pack. With some number plates and flags, 
and all kinds of other little no, bits on there. I, I believe that not all the flags are on there, so it might cause some coventry with... Well, it's, I think it's only the countries that ever took place. Took pl place in the... On the uh, camel. Oh, oh, man. Look at the <coughs> colour of that. Yeah, that. The, de oh, the first thing that hits you is is the detail. I'll leave them out. Yeah, I'll leave them out. They're there for a reason. I know, but I was getting them out of the way to the camera. Well, they're in there for the camera. Look at the detail on that. They wow. are better than I actually... Just, I'm, what, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit. There's a lot of videos out there. We, we both, watched yeah, we both watched a lot like, of them, you know. But actually, you don't realise how detailed that is. Obviously, licensed by Land Rover, so yeah, I mean, they, they are to spec. Absolutely, I'm gonna do some uh, detailed shots of them, so you'll be able to kind of do a, a kind of 360. That's, but yeah. Got the, the 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 covers on the the, the rear lights. Yeah, I mean, it's grills. got little. It, they've uh, gone to town on this and absolutely made it look spectacular. The interior is full as well. I do. Believe. Yeah, there's a full interior. Um. Wow. And oil, oil shocks. Oil well. shocks. Yeah, that that is uh, one of the good things that FMS the tires actually doing. feel pretty good. Um, feels like they've got a little bit of foam in there as well. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure if they do, but it definitely feels like there's something in there. And actually, the compound on them is really, done. really nice. Yeah. So this is the new setup as well. So again, we'll do a closer video of it once we've unboxed them. Uh, with the new gearbox, which is a lot smaller. Now, the one thing I was quite excited about this new setup is that these are going to fit into the SCX24s as well. So there's a chance of being able to put the two-speed in into it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But, but that, look at that, I've got to admit, it, it, even down to... Yeah, got a little toe hitch. Toe hitch. That is amazing. <coughs> what detail. Now, compared to the uh, FCX24, like the Power Wagon, there's no portals uh, on these. So this is the portal version. This is the Smasher, but they're all the same. And, uh, yeah, the difference is quite quite substantial uh, whip wise I know it's got big tyres on, but even looking at the comparison between the two axles... It's a massive difference. Massive difference. You know, it, it this is. is the right way to go, guys. FMS, this was the right yeah. way to do this. Don't. Right. That's the... Uh, which one was that? That was the... Well, that, that was, was the Range Rover, wasn't the it? The Range Rover. Or the Discovery, I can't remember. No, it's the Range Rover. Range Rover, you said. Yeah. So... Just do one quick review. It's the normal kind of handset that comes in the box. You do get with this one, you do get a screwdriver. You get a spare cog. Yeah, so it looks like you get a spare spare gear. And you get what everybody wants. Yeah, the sand rails. It's the sand rails. So you get the sand rails. You get a couple of Allen keys and you obviously get... The charger, which is the USB you know, one, the USB and, and the, wheel nuts. the wheel nut. So excellent! Right, pass me that box over here. I'll make sure this one goes in here. Right, let's uh, let's see what's next on the pile. All right, so this is the Land Rover Defender ninety. That's my one. One of your ones? Okay. And the smallest wheelbase of the group. Now, I, I don't do small wheelbase. You don't do small wheels, and these all have small wheels on them. I'm really concerned about this, because I know I got sort of the the pick of the litter, in a sense, because I know the ones you wanted, but when you said I've got a small wheelbase, I'm like, well, no. So the D90 and the D10 actually have bigger wheels than the Defender... Um, yeah, other than the Disco and the Range Rover. So you do have the ones with the bigger wheels on them. Oh, okay, that's good. But they're still not, you know, at the moment we've got a bit of a selection here from like 52 mil. We've got a, you know, comparison to the RC All Wheel Drive. You know, they've got quite, a, you know, substantially bigger wheels than those. Although the scale is pretty close for the it old is, yeah. Yota there. 
I'm just going to open this one because we know what's on the box. Yeah, we no. just want to look at the kit now. Yeah. We know what's in it, we know what's around it. I just want to see it. Take the box, you grab the box then. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. And it, they, they always pack them nicely, they always come nice with the FMS. Same stickers as uh, as the other one. I believe they all come with the same stickers, so ready. Oh, oh, oh look at that. That, the, that looks so tall. Good, it looks so good. Look at the detail. I mean, come on, look, that's got a ladder, somewhere to put your, spare got your wheel. You've actually got the uh, tro camel trophy sticker on the back of your. Uh, oh, wow, yeah, and, well. on the front. and on the front. Yeah, I don't have it on the on the front though, but there, the Defender, that looks so cool. Tiny. Now, I these things are going to look. I mean, I, dr the, I drive this. I mean, yeah, this, but that look. <laughs> the WL, the WL is uh, is within its scale. It's the same scale. It, it is, yeah. I'm quite. It's pretty much the same wheelbase as those. The body is of similar scale. Yeah, if you used to properly put them together, it'd be about right. Yeah. Loads of uh, detail in the uh, interior. Little gap for uh, you could possibly put a little line in there for a winch as well. I think. I'm looking at trying to get a winch in, which is going to be one of the servo winches. But and look at the detail. You know, this is what I was saying about the wheels. So oh, the, the bigger wheel, tire. Yeah, so you've definitely got the bigger tire, the, the the slightly bigger wheel. And it actually, yeah, tad wider as well. Is it? Yeah, they're a, they're a, they're a wider tire, so you've got a wider tread on it. A little bit taller. Man alive, they look so they good. They do look awesome. I've got a, you know... They've done a fantastic job on these. Um, wow! Even to the even to the, the the rear lights and stuff like that. As Adam said, he'll do a. The tyres feel about the same. same yeah, same, same, tread, same compound. Yeah, same, same tread. Compound. Again, look at. Shots. I mean, that's all shots on. This is maybe why they're going to be more stable. Yeah. Well, a, we'll uh, we'll delve into the uh, underneath them. I know they're all going to be similar, so we'll only do one. But. Um, Man alive, they are they just... Are, I mean, what? They are just absolutely stunning. It is a dinky base, though. That's got a dinky wheel base. And th th this is obviously the first time that we've, we've bought four trucks and been able yeah, to... Yeah, so FMS were doing a deal where if you brought all four of them, you got them for like $99 each, which was about £82 for us. Couldn't... Um, couldn't which was... It. We kind of expect these to be around about the 130 uh, mark for us over here. So we figured, well, if you're going to get pretty much two for almost the same price, let's just do it and get it over and done with. Which one's this one? I don't know. Oh, you've just gone for it? I've gone for it. You've <laughs> just gone for it. Well, I'll let you uh, delve into the next box. Okay, let's get, this one. get these all out. Man, um, look at them. I mean, we're excited because, you know, if you're, if, if you're friends of the channel, you know the type of calibre, of course, we have sat behind us. Uh, so video in these, and if you're not, you should be. Yeah, video in <laughs> these on our course. This yeah, is why we wanted them. Gonna be awesome. Oh, mine's upside down. Oh. <laughs> Didn't have the W on. Oh, it's top. my one anyway. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was that was good. Uh, Either you did that or you. Oh you know, no, I didn't do was that. It plan. It wasn't. So this oh, is the look. discovery. Now, this is the most detailed one, which I didn't know until I started seeing a lot of the reviews. I'm not sure why this is the only one that has a kind of a couple of bits. It's got an axe and um, a shovel on it. It's got the, 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 the tow bar hitch, which they all have. Um, it's got like a pop-up. I don't know what it's got. It's just a platform on the uh, on the roof rack. I'd imagine that might be one of them like little pop up sheds because I watched a video of a guy who's got one of these and he's got a pop up and a rollout. Oh, okay. And it was quite amazing what he got on there, to be honest. But look, you've got the camel on the front and the back as yeah, well. Yeah, on this one it does. Yeah. So I, I'm surprised that this at the moment, you know, that this one doesn't have any of the tools. This is the only one I think that comes with the tools. Now, you know, we have a three D printer, so it's not the end of the world. No. Um, this one also comes with a spare, real spare, so it matches the rest of the vehicle. And we've got the same spur gear 
and you, some rails as you've well. You've almost got a clear plastic on the front of the camel to raise it out a little bit. Because if you know the camel trophy, um, camel were, obviously, we're not allowed to sponsor them nowadays this way, but they were sponsored by cigarettes in, yeah, in my the, day. In the early in the 80s, 80s yeah. yeah. Because you were allowed, now you're not. Now, I believe in the first one, the camel truck was, the camel trophy um, on, on the truck was those colours. And the second, a few years later, they changed it to the green. Right, okay. When they bought this one out. Right, I see. So they've even kept the, the actual the, the, yeah, the signage, actual proper signage to, traditional and, yeah, and it's right. green on there. Yeah, you've got the green. These were one of the first ones to go. So these were like. Now, if you right. don't know what the. Uh, the Campbell Trophy was all about. It, it started off in like the, the mid eighties, I think, and it was uh, a team of German guys that kind of flew over and they rented. And it was actually done in some jeeps, not Land Rovers. First time ever it was run, I think it was three teams. They rented some jeeps, they modified them to go off road, and it hit a thousand miles of just extreme terrain. The following year, it just went mad and Land Rover got involved and then really after that it was just primarily Land Rovers. Land Rovers, you know, yeah. And they, um, it run for I think almost 10 years. Uh, the Brits, we won it in about 87 and that was done in a uh, 10, in a, a, a 110. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't run anymore, which is a shame because it was like, it was... It's the ultimate trail for truck and uh, human, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's yeah, yeah. so much teamwork involved to get them you through could the not, You could not complete any part of the, the, the course without having three or four trucks help you, without ten people digging out mud, yeah. putting these sand rails down, trying to make lines. And, so, you know, if you went over like that, that was it. Yeah, you, that's it. You, you were pulled. You, you've got to get. You've I, got I mean, to... these things were going up to water above there. You know. Oh, well, yeah, you know, well, up to the roof line and stuff like that. You know, we ran an ironclad trail competition early this year where we put a lot of water on, a lot of mud, and that's where the inspiration kind of come from. Is the, is the old <laughs> yeah. camel, and then later in this year, these but, guys come out. We're like, well, we well, know what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, so you know, if you are based in the UK and you are going to get yourself uh, a couple of FTX twenty four. Or camel trophy trucks let's just say in the new year there may be a competition coming up that you might want to be interested in i have noticed that, that as you say this is the most detailed yeah. which is a bit of a shame because okay we've got the, the roof racks um i would have liked to have seen the funnels on these um have you not got no uh, no there's no funnels snorkel so no snorkels no nothing but this doesn't have a snorkel again either. Just going back to this one, I love the detail. It's got the, the, the window at the top there. Um, the detail on these is incredible. But yeah, that's the long one. So I have these two. Yeah, so there's your two, and these are my two. Um, we're going to, I've got, I've already downloaded some files to replicate because this, these two don't even come with sail rails, uh, which again, I find a little bizarre why they didn't do that. I actually, I think maybe. You know, the two four doors, maybe they should have had these with the full accessories so they were similar, maybe a different, slightly cheaper yeah. price, um, more expensive price maybe. And then you've got your two two doors, which again, had similar scale. So it kind of does, yeah, I think I think it's a shame that this doesn't have scale, but then you know what? I, we do have a 3D printer. We do. And so he's going to be 3D printing a yeah, lot. Uh, we can basically, <laughs> they do sell <clears throat> accessory kits for these though. So you can purchase yes, the accessory You, you can. Uh, the only thing I will say about that is when I looked at that, they were quite expensive compared to the truck. Yeah, I think they were, yeah, they're almost <laughs> over, over they do the price them. of the truck. They so do they do sell them. them. Right. I, I just want to get, come on, let's... Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's bring the camera closer. I'm going to pull one of the bodies off and we're going to take a closer look. Yeah. All right, let's delve into what's underneath the hood. All right, G-Dog, let's see what you've got. Which one are you doing? I'm going to do the, the, the long wheel bay, the 110, yeah. Very strong Velcro. Um, straight away, I'm a, I'm a fan of FMS because obviously I've had the Power Wagon and the other ones. This is a nice touch. Battery tray. It's got a little rubber mm. strap on it. Little rubber strap. But it also, they've allowed this time for a bigger battery. Yeah. So if you want to change it, you can. 
You'll also notice underneath that this comes with two servos, your steering servo and this servo. That's your two-speed. That's your two-speed. That's a very different to the old FCX24. It was quite a larger unit. Yes. Uh, if you actually, you've got the. I've got the. Uh, let me just got the smasher on. just there. So yeah, so there's the original gearbox from the FCX 24s, which ran in the power wagons. That is the uh, the new, a lot smaller, a, a lot smaller. Apparently, these have a little bit more of a powerful motor than the, the um, SCX 24s because it's slightly longer, slightly more powerful for its. Um, I love the fact that again, it's on Velcro at the front, so it's quick action just literally pick it up quite thin aren't they How do i have a well not compared to uh what, what thin as in like yeah sort of narrow i hope well i mean if you compare to like my scx 24 yeah i mean if you if you if you that look is. at that i mean that's 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 a full tire over the yeah definitely. over the axle yeah um, and i suppose i'm used to it because my little uh yeah this is almost this is almost the, that size you know yeah so you, that's pretty close the uh wl um i like the fact that they've they, they little put a foam, pad, little on foam the pad on the back just to stop it from rubbing yeah shocks are you know nice shocks are really yeah. kind of yeah nice got a nice bit of bounce to them may need a little bit more i mean I don't no know. i don't think so they're not springing back so they're not like no. quite hefty they've also done a nice little i don't know if you can see yeah a little cable tie there. cable tie system uh which looks really neat yeah um, these only come with front lights unfortunately the fog lights and that and the rear lights don't work but i'm sure we're going to dive into that and we'll make them work oh 100 all right well let's um let's get a battery in it and switch it on and see what it does yeah, I have to say the uh, the cabling is is super tidy there. They've really kind of kept it quite clean, really nice and yeah, just really nice and tidy. They are fully waterproof. I hope uh, they say PX four on it. Um, I'm not sure if that is water resistant or fully waterproof, but uh, we'll we'll put that to the test. Oh, I've got mud guards on the back of this, little rubber mud guards on the back of this one as well, um, which look pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, although I just noticed that, oh, no, as they come back up, it does things. So that's got rubber mud guards on that. And then just two dummy wheels up top, which are a little bit smaller. So they are, they do look a lot smaller than the model itself, but that's okay. So it's got yellow lights on it as well, not big, bright white crystal lamps That's which is nice yeah really really i actually don't get much glare off them from the camera which is quite nice as well kind of put a dirty gate fog pair on the top yeah 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 but uh, let, let's have a look at the control on what we've got so i don't know uh should be in first gear yeah oh Isn't that quiet it's very quiet oh wow squeeze that trigger look yeah. slightest little squeeze Wow, that's really good. How, let's see where it goes up. Oh, it does. And I'm not pushing. I'm just literally squeezing the trigger. Oh, wow. That is so quiet. I mean, that, that, yeah. I'm I mean, not, we've got used to that. helicopters going over the top of us, Shot, but you, yeah. You it's, try um, and see what you think. That is, for me, that's very, very soft. Oh, you barely, yeah. You barely got to put any pressure on it. Don't watch this. I mean, did you even see my finger move? I don't think you even saw it move. I don't think I've got a track with that response. <laughs> um, the only thing close is running that MB100 that gives it that. The SEX 24s are definitely not that from stock. Nor they the... have done a fantastic job on getting that. That yeah, sense. you barely you barely give any anything. Um, and then obviously it has two gears, so we'll just have a. I've, I've got not, I've um, got me and here, G Dog. The third channel. Click across. Did that just make a noise? Yes. Oh! <laughs> wow. And, and that... Yeah. It's, it's got, got a bit of a stop on it. Torque and, and brake on it. You see it bouncing with the, with the suspension. Oh, it does oh, just stop. It just... It, yeah, it just stops. I mean, it's... Have, uh, you, yeah. have a go with that. Go on, we'll just... Have a go with that. That little... 
I mean, yeah, that's that's really good. That, well, look, you know, that is. Uh, I suppose you know, really, how do they perform? I mean, that's what we're we need to find out, don't we? So um, there's only one way, to find, only one way to find out. Um, that is cool. Let's get these babbies on the uh, on the course and see how they perform. First time you've ever seen G Dog getting dirt off a truck. Look at I that. Know. Oh, Look at no. his it's pride, pride and joy. G Dog's yeah. G Dog's changed. Right, so we've got the four doors out first. Um, we've kind of put all. Did you put your spare tire on the back? I did. Yes. Yeah, spare tires on the back. Spare tires on the backs. Uh, this one comes with the sand rails, uh, so they're on top. And we're gonna just hit the little sand area. We're gonna try some of the uh, major obstacles on the course. See what they're like. Well, we may just yeah. Who knows. I'm going to attempt to drive one-handed, just for a bit, and then maybe I'll put the camera down. Yeah, maybe. Um, Would you? Yeah. Oh. So we shall see what they're like. I just don't want to get it scratched. Oh, look at that underneath. Burying itself. Yeah, the sand at the back is just burying itself down. It kind of gets out all right, but I think I've got to... Oh, yeah. Big bumper at the back. Tim's got to modify the course a little bit. No, 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 no. Just um, well, this is you know they didn't modify the uh, Amazon. They just had to deal with it. But look, the big bumper just catching straight away on that big rock. Um, I could come right on the edge and try and get it up, but it does get bogged down. Look at that wheel on that side. It's just bogged down. <laughs> oh. I think maybe we just hit the dunes. I think maybe. Yeah, uh, that like maybe just flat bit. Yeah, there. I mean they're no rock crawlers, but uh, they're not designed for rock crawling. They're, they're trail. Oh, track. look at the wheel! Now I thought it was going to go over then, but it didn't. Oh, it did then. Yeah, I think that's the oil shock. I think the oil shocks make a massive difference. Yeah, but it kind of carried the uh, front wheel. It's very difficult to do this one-handed, but look, if you carry it. Oh, it's going to go. I can't get that angle right. It carries that front wheel up over. No. That's held on by the bumper at the moment. I mean, that, that is... That is a point where if, if, you, oh, if you're doing it real, you'd have to have somebody well, try and yeah. tow you up that bit. Oh. Yeah, it just doesn't... It's, I'll tell you what it is. I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to actually uh, try and Not do this properly. Just a little bit too much for it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know made it out yet. Oh, okay. So, oh. I see where you've got to go now. You've yeah. got to go right over it. Yeah, you've got to kind of get that wheel to go over the edge and then come back on yourself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right over. Right, so this bit here is like one of the major obstacles of uh, um, reactive terrain. It's really, really steep incline and it's about nine to ten inches worth of height. Now, I know for a fact that this is not going to go the route that some of the modified SCX 24s are going to do because there's just no weight on the front however if you did have a smidge a bit of weight on that front there's a good chance it would go up so we're really going to have to start 
<laughs> changing well, our lines. We're going to have to change the lines and also towing and winching and doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. With. I mean, the moment these things get... I mean, they do look just super cool when they're coming in nice and slow. Oh. But you, yeah, you like... You're on the edge, like you're on the edge of tipping over all the time on the train. And, and when you watch the, the videos from the camel truck, that's what you're doing. Yeah, You've yeah. You've got to be so careful. I have to say the control on the controllers is really good. Reverse is a little snappy, maybe because I've been running the MB100 for a while. I'm used to that 50% in, like, ex, uh, reverse. Maybe we need more sand in the dips. <laughs> Well, no, because I do notice, obviously, that's that, ooh, ooh. that small. Oh, yeah. Pretty good tyres, really. For yeah, they are really good. The I mean, like, I, well, there are sand pits everywhere that we're dig digging into. Oh, I've got a tree now wrapped up around me. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, I mean, small tyres definitely at that point definitely have a problem. Winch, yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you definitely have to kind of come at it at an angle slightly. Like trying to give that a bit of a boost up with a bit of power. I don't think second gear is going to make much difference. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, it would if I could control that to get that up there. You may have jumped it. Ooh. <clears throat> I think this is a really good... You, like, you can see how tricky reactive terrain is when Ooh. you put something of this scale you yeah. know, onto it and how hard scale. it is. To actually navigate through these obstacles with these, you know. Yeah, it's a real fine line of how you can take that cup that edge there. Nope. Definitely hard. Alright. Let's give it a go with the D90. Now you do have the slightly bigger wheels as well. Doesn't really make any difference. Yeah, it's really tricky trying to get the uh, positioning. I am literally just <laughs> four wheel spinning there, sitting on <laughs> sitting on the uh, gearbox there, sit, sitting on the gearbox. So, you know, I think it also shows that in real life how hard these were to drive around. Oh yeah, they're no rock crawlers. They weren't you know, built to be rock crawlers. They were trail trucks. You know, you pull up, you have to get pulled over everything. And I, I remember that you know sometimes it may it may have taken you three hours to move three miles or something oh, yeah. like that. You know, yeah. this is no. Ooh, it wanted to go. I oh, know, but I don't want it to topple. Oh, he's going over that. I, I, yeah, but I don't. I don't want to. I'm trying to. Ooh, oh! Ooh. Oh, he's buried in the in the sand. Same as you got stuck. Yeah, that that's a uh, big old wheel up in there. Yours definitely seems a little bit more stable, though, I have to say. That, that, D9, that D1 turn. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, he's over. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Um... Oh, no, I've scratched it. Oh, no. no. Oh, gee, oh, God. Dude. Look, dirt oh, on no. my new truck. You know the rules at Reactive Terrain. Yes. No shelf queens allowed. No. And you definitely won't be able to do one run round this without scratching or doing something. So, I don't even let's... think we'll get one run round the whole thing. <laughs> because you know it's it's pretty hardcore scape 
but it's fine. You know, modifications may have to be made. Or um, I think maybe just, you know, maybe they've got to be a little bit more weighty just so that we don't fall over as much. I think maybe the first mod will be put weight in them to, to, to weigh them down. Top heavy. They were, but we've also got to try and think of our terrain. But there we go. Let's... Um... <laughs> These things are so quiet. They are. <laughs> oh, this has to be really muddy and gooey and gunky and horrible. <laughs> and you're doing it one handy. Oh, look at that. Oh. oh. You've still got yours in first, second gear. Have I? Yeah. Oh, These have to be just. Oh, oh no, I scratched my window. I haven't. Haha. <laughs> look, I on this course, these look amazing. They look insane. They make the course look good as well. They really, really you do. Know. Well, we've always said that the higher the scale and the detail of the vehicle, the better this course looks. Yes. And these, these shows. Um, they are going to be tough. They are going to be, it's going to be like the trophy, <laughs> trying to get round this terrain. And this is just the four doors. We're going to lay up the two doors and see how hard it is with that. And G-Dog's got to try and get round with a, like, 111 millimetre wheelbase. So that's going to be really tricky. I've never driven anything that small, I No, uh, well, so, do you know what that is? That's Dirty Donkey wheelbase. Oh, that's your size. Well, that, no, Dirty Donkey. Oh, Dirty Donkey. The size. one we used to tow. Oh, OK. <laughs> I've got no chance. Uh, and then we're going to fire up the waterfall and put these through the water and see how good they look. The, they've done such a good job with these, I've got to admit. In my opinion, one of the best micro slash mini crawlers there is on the market right now.
great G dog before and after a pasty. I know. <laughs> right, let's get these puppies on the scale and see what we're weighing in at. Okay, we have naught. We're going to put the big, yep. biggest one on first. Right, yeah, let's get that one on. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, 360 grams with the battery in. It's 360 for the Discovery. Up next, little Range Rover. Let's see what this is kicking in at. This is the same wheelbase as the Discovery. So, ooh, it's a tad less. 326. The big old Defender D110, Defender 110. You must have drag brake on, because I don't. <laughs> you got it in neutral. <laughs> I don't know, it's just not... Sit look. <laughs> Put it sideways, upside down. Put it on the roof rack. Oh. 374. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. No. Nope. A little dumpy, a little dumbo. Dumpy dumbo. Three, five, six. Okay. All right, let's put let's put the old um, let's just put this discovery back on. I'm gonna put it sideways so it's all completely on. Three fifty eight. No, three fifty eight. What did it say last time? Three sixty. Well, that's that's interesting. Yeah, 356. Wow. All right, well, there's the weights, guys. All right, so let's do a little tire comparison. There we go. Look at that. That's quite a lot of difference in the tires. These defenders are packing, and it does make a difference. Um, the height of the pumpkins... I'm definitely getting caught up a lot more in the uh, Range Rovers than uh, D-Dog is in the Defenders. And they are quite a lot wider. Yeah, yeah. Um, which should help with some of the head height. Now, you can see the height difference here. So, I'm going to rack the old uh, Disco being... Uh, sorry, the, the Range Rover being the uh, lowest. Obviously, the two... D10s and the D90s are the same. Let's put the dis Disco up against it. And, oh, it's close. It's slightly lower. It's slightly lower. That's probably got to do with the wheels and the tyres. And then the Range Rover right down here, nice and dumpy at the end. So I've seen a lot of videos of these going through a lot of water. Yes. Let's hope it's not false advertising.
Well, that's the most fun I've had for a while. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I tell you, I I didn't expect them to be quite so detailed. I watched a few videos, obviously, on reviews, and we've done our own, but they're fantastic. Yeah, I, I mean, their detail is spectacular, and on this course, it looks even better because of the backdrop we've got for them. Um and they are actually a lot better than I kind of was expecting. Uh, I knew they weren't going to do the whole rock crawling obstacles that, that we've got. They're not rock crawlers, are they? No, they're, they're trail they're, trucks. They're trail trucks. Um, so. But they do a fair bit. They do do a lot. And, you know, sometimes some of them, you know, it's not very uh, pretty, but you can do it. <laughs> wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. And, you know, a bit of a second gear motion. But I quite like that. I quite like the fact that you are using that second gear yeah, to yeah. get you in places that the first gear is not going to do. I, I think genuinely out of the box, the tyres are pretty good. I think these tyres are probably the best out of the box tyres in any 124 scale there is so well done yeah uh, um they you know. they wipe the floor with any out of the box scx 24 tires yeah. uh the uh, ftx 24 tires well the power wagon tires were horrendous <laughs> you know <laughs> they just they the out of the box these tires are fantastic um and they're definitely waterproof well because uh, we hope so. <laughs> they're, well, they're still driving, so yeah. even if they're not, they survived. They've been dunked. Uh, they've hit the sand. They've hit the mud, and we've got batteries on charge. We haven't finished yet. We're still going to play for a little yeah, bit longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to actually putting a few little bits on it. We've definitely noticed uh, where you need to put just a bit of weight on some of them. Uh, the little short wheelbase, you know. Uh, or wherever it is, oh, it's over there, yeah, a little short wheelbase. You know, this is going to catch a few people out. This is going to be a bit tricky for people. It's very dumpy. Uh, it's not my kind of style of driving, but it's my truck. So but you, you've managed to, you've used it more than anything. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's actually quite enjoyed traveling around in it. Um, but, you know, these uh, defenders with that slightly bigger tire is definitely a an advantage this definitely gives you that little bit more um clearance he's just trying to get away with not being able to do what i can do um, and the uh defenders at uh, the discovery sorry and the range rover oh, i love it this this one's probably my favorite this is the uh, range rover this, this goes fantastic it looks incredible it's super scaled but this one, this one handles really well because slightly, sh it's the smallest head height of all of them. That's why I like so you it. can put it in some really nice situations. Stay out of the box. FMS, have to give it to you. These things are fantastic. Got to give, got to give you ten out of ten for these ones because it's going to struggle to beat them. It's going to struggle. Well, I don't think there's anything. To be fair, I am actually excited about this range because I think if they've done this on this platform then they're going to have other things in store. Oh, of course. And this platform on this course for us is just insane. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you're new to the channel, then welcome to Reactive Terrain. There are going to be plenty more videos coming, uh, especially on these guys. And if you're just passing by and clicked on, then, well, thank you. And thank before you, you go, welcome. make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And the notification bell. And I'll, and I'll see, see you next time. time.